Alright, so you currently find yourselves at the at the entrance of this ruin uh ru the ruins the courtyard of the ruins. You are surrounded by five drones and uh, well there are five drones buzzing about with uh, one helm horror. So I always helm horror? Helm horror. Horror? A horror that has a helmet on. Helmed horror. <clears throat> which uh, which one of you sir, uh, surmises that it's probably not a good idea to fight? Mm -hmm. uh, it's 210 uh, feet away. Okay. Is there no way to uh, to get around most of them and attack the the pentadrone? From uh, the side. Oh, uh, you, like you haven't checked around, but uh, you want, you can if you want. I tell. Uh, are you on? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, okay. yes. I. Uh, well, I. What are we planning? Tell the uh, uh Take a look around. I. I want to see if there's a way we can flank the the star drone. Mm, flank the star drone. Uh, Attack it from the side. Oh, so hmm. I don't want to approach like all through all, all okay. this whole line of drones. So um, you want me to skirt over here? I want you. Yeah, I want okay, you to find uh, some means of getting to the star drone without passing so, through everyone else. Uh, can I check what's in this direction so I can go? Around? It's a lot of wall, but eventually you see uh, rock formations. You can climb on these rock formations and you end up at the top of the wall. Uh, the top of the wall surrounding this courtyard. You can pick it up. Oh, oh so it goes okay. upwards this way. From the top of the wall. Okay. From the top of the wall, how far is the pentagon? Uh, you're at the side. Wait, wait. Is it possible to, to use the wall to get past the town corner without it activating? You can certainly try. Again, sorry. So there's a we wall. Can, yeah, because we can we can climb the wall. The two people who are most agile, namely the, the two of you, can climb the wall. If you can use it to get past the helm horror using the wall, and then get the thing at the end of the wall. where? Because he said uh, he said there was a wall that uh, that Eventually, this right? wall that you're facing goes sideways. The one where the Nai went to. Uh, it's still wall all the way until there are rock formations that you can that she can climb up to, and then she's at the top of the wall, and she can still go sideways. She can walk on the wall, yeah. something like that. However, uh, <clears throat> at a certain point, you are left exposed. You might have to risk being spotted by the drones. Mm. Uh, Doesn't trigger the armor, but once the drones are away, there might be trouble. That's okay. That's true. Mm. That's true. How high is the wall? It's about uh, 30 feet up. 3d6 <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay, where you fall mm. Wait, I see mm, So it's just, an in, it's like an enclosed Yeah Although at the back is already like The ruined interior mm, Okay Armor, the From what you've seen at the top Okay but so we're just at the entrance, right? Yeah, you're just at the entrance of this courtyard, so... <clears throat> what are you thinking? Uh, from what... From what my, uh... What my arcane knowledge has told me about the, the Helm War... Mm -hmm. Uh, does proximity count in, uh, on site or just physical proximity? Uh, physical proximity. They are directed. Right. This this particular help for seems to have been directed in the same way uh, the drones have, in spite of the horrors. Uh, pers uh, re normal level of intelligence that you that you've studied before. Mm. Uh, what is this one to the far left? Uh, the, do this one? It's the one holding this a spear? Yeah, it's a spear doodle. Let's 
man. No, it's upside down. I was wondering. No. <laughs> Spear door drone, and then there's a second spear door drone here. Oh, yeah, what's this one with the. At the nearest to us. That is a door drone that's unarmed. Okay. This one is also unarmed. The one above it? <laughs> yes, but that's squad drone. It's squad drone, it's unarmed. This is big arms, javelin. How high is the wall? 30 feet up. Is it. Slide it because somebody slide down it, or is it steep? Uh, it's flat. The only way, the only reason she was able to climb up was because as the wall merged with the rock face, she mm -hmm. climbed the rock face easily enough, and then uh, okay. got to got to oh. top that wall. Oh, it didn't take a check. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I I propose we all go up there. So okay. So I come down and I return and I show the. I propose we all go up there. Okay. You take some rope, you slide down the rope, you take on the pentadrone yourself. Okay. I will shroud you in darkness and then I'll leave you to to, to handle the drone. In the, the way that you in the pentadrone, in the way that you can. Uh, your your focus is to kill the quadrone as quickly as possible. Okay. And I will direct my attention according to uh, what is needed? I would recommend either boxes. Oh, so exciting! What do I do? What can you do? What can you do, Meta? Send messages. messages. I can call for Wentz. Call for from here. Or from what? Wentz? More Wentz? No. Just can you communicate with the drones whatsoever? Uh, it's not really my my area of expertise. How can you send messages? Oh, I have magic. Uh, what are the effects of this magic? No, I can call somebody in 25 words or less. Oh, okay. Ascending. Mm -hmm. Maybe it might be better for you to actually grapple the, the pentagon so that it doesn't actually go anywhere. Yeah, no, that's why. And then, like, uh... If you grapple the pentagon, then knock it down afterwards with a shove, it's never getting up. Never. Why? Why is it... Not because the grapple re grapple reduces your speed to zero, and you mm. need speed to stand. Nice. Okay. Wait. So if you grapple it and then you knock it down, it's never standing. Okay. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. And then attacks of advantage forever. Except you. Yeah. Uh, but you, your focus is over here, and after you're done with this. It's with the other ones. So we're basically we're gonna go okay. up here and then move down. No, we're going the other way. Yeah, we're going you sort of prep spells to help you with your stuff. Uh, no, no, mine is all heat of combat. So my the, so Ozzy says. Okay, so let me get this right. I'm gonna up down here and then. No, we're hopping up. Oh, we're so lowering. Uh, we're lowering our rope down. All right, and I climb uh, the rope down, and then I. And we're tying a rope off, and then at the moment of, of heat of battle, I jump I'll, down. You jump down with. Uh, we throw the rope down. And you, you slide down it, and then I go the, towards the star-shaped one. How far is the star from the rope? Can, can from the. Uh, if, if like if you, we go. Well, the edge of the wall is like somewhere up here. I would say it's about. Can you make it? What oh, 35 feet? I can't. Oh. You can block its way. Dash? Yeah. But then... Wait, if he's raging anyway, he can still make his bonus attack and attack. But that'll only keep it distracted. It won't it down. Yes. But you can just at least block its way, I guess. When you go, I take an arrow. Take this with you. Uh, just drop it on the floor when you uh, begin fighting. Okay. Yeah. I don't exactly see the point, but I'll leave that for the thinking ones. Uh, your goal is to no matter what, make sure that the drone does not go get to the get to the armor. Armor. Would I be able to will charge it with the ground? 
would you be able to what? If I'm in range, and instead of my bonus attack doing damage, it's full on bull tackle into the ground. Would I be able to do that considering? He just charges into it. Yeah, yeah considering my you can movement. Tackle it to make it prone, but to grapple it is a different action on your next turn. Would would that be better? Well, that would at least cut his speed in half. But uh, how they are? How far apart? Yeah, but it's about eighty feet. That's the not armor and the starfish. That's significant. If you actually do knock him down, then okay. Then how about uh, then how about I do that? Sure. When you do that, just drop the, just drop the arrow. Sure. So basically, my goal is I no matter what, keep him in place. Okay. So and never near him, and do not go within sixty feet of him. Okay. So I up down, bull charge, drop the arrow, make sure he's on the ground. Correct. Mm -hmm. If it becomes at all possible, you keep the you keep the quad drone from doing it as well. However, uh, your primary is the pentadron. So if the pentadron is not dealt with, don't go for the quad drone. More sides, better enemy. What, what? Yes. Okay. More sides, smarter. That's basically it. So it's not going to stop the rest of them from continuing to attack us. But the point is that we're trying to deal with the, the potential hunter. the potential difficult enemy first. Uh, Iber box. Uh, Iber, Iber box. Dwarves of magic. Not this one. Can you read? Yes. Scrolls. Yes. Uh, so. Hmm. Surprise! You know, you'd be surprised. Sailors are required to learn how to read. Oh. Yeah. Street signs. <laughs> oh, so we're gonna. Oh, so we're gonna get through life. Hmm. Takes out uh, one scroll. Yeah, two scrolls actually. Silences. I was saving one for myself, but I figured you might use the other. Mm -hmm. I have here Feather Fall, or... What do those do? Feather Fall, he can drop down... A lady? He can jump off without uh, uh, without incurring damage. Mm -hmm. Swan dive. Mm -hmm. Feather Fall, or Pass Without Trace. Uh, the second one might be better for Clinky McClink or something. <coughs> That's true, for getting in place. I'm taking this out of your cave. Never mind that. Dwarves want their gold. He has a point. Dwarves do want their gold. Potions cheaper than scroll. Oh. No. I know how much really thing costs. <laughs> really thing? Alright. Uh, uh, Alright, uh, regardless of what happens, whether anything gets prematurely triggered or whatnot, that's your ultimate goal. Just keep Just the star away keep from... Him, keep him occupied. And when he's done, we go for the for the next uh, overly... Uh, more side man. Yeah, you go from more sides to less. But then these yeah. these two are like two back, two squares on top of each other. They're only two squares on top of each other. They're not cubes. Oh, is that how the hierarchy works? Mm. Okay. These are only duo drones. All right. Hmm. Technology. All right. Okay. Actually, yeah, you're Technology. Forced, forced it's time what, to what? sing the prom song. Yeah. All right. So uh, why don't you? Why don't, why don't everyone go? So uh, we're we already up the wall, or we have? Okay. Not yet. You have you have yet to execute. Fifteen. Twelve. Oh. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. We switched to So you you will basically be the. the oh, wait. My turn and then my turn again. Oh, <laughs> is this initiative or <laughs> stealth? <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I thought it was stealth. Okay, let's, twenty-four. Let's forget, yeah. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Okay. Uh, so you can now commence your your plans. Uh, what do you what first you do is you go uh, up the wall. Oh. Go up the wall. Um, it's not even worth it. What? I was thinking. It's just, I've I've gotten one point of damage. There's nothing else after this. Should I have taken a, a hit die? But then whatever. It's poor done. So. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, we proceed onwards. Uh, Climb up the wall? Yeah. You are leading. Right. Because it doesn't. Because uh, we have to get you as far up to him as possible. Alright. Uh, we climb uh, the wall. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he first. 
I go second. I go second, and uh, uh, doctor, uh, if you'll hide yourself away until the fighting's done, uh, you can either uh, come out to claim your prize, or if we are all dead, uh, go back for help. Uh, that can be done. And, uh, she goes to a nearby tree, and, uh, with a few sh shimmering uh, effects behind it, suddenly your, your presents are no longer known. Or rather, her presents are no longer known. Oh shit, <laughs> definitely no longer known. You don't, you, you will never know what you will get for, this, for your birthday. <laughs> or Christmas. Or Christmas. Okay. Alright, so. Is really good at hiding her presents? It's <laughs> uh, so. Okay, so. Uh, you climb up, and then uh, we are going to position ourselves up near the rope as well. I'm going to tie uh, my rope, which is longer than yours because yours got. Oh, yeah. Got, uh, <laughs> uh, oh, 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 oh. I'm gonna tie it uh, to the nearest tree, uh, coil it, I'll give it to you, and then uh, uh, say, uh, notch, an, notch an arrow, <coughs> flex, flex my uh, casting fingers. I, 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 I tap you on the shoulder, it's like slap me. Uh, I, uh, I shadow hand slap you, which is to say I don't move at all. Make your hand. So uh, after that, he starts shaking his hand, you can see his complexion turns from brown, the crimson and you can see like veins popping out of his forehead. Oh. Magic always did piss me off more. Okay. And then uh, do I do it again? We go charging in. Uh, Are you rage now? Uh, I'm already in rage. Yeah. So okay, so you go it's a 35 foot uh, rush. Yeah. Uh, you can That's you are stealth and you are currently in a surprise round. Yeah. So Oh, damn. Oh. You go, she goes before the surprise. She goes, so she goes, she takes three turns. You can hold your turn if you like. Her you can ambuscade? Ready in action if you like. Her ambuscade? Her ambuscade. Oh, what she do you gets three do, turns. What do you want to do in, in this surprise round? Well, you don't give away your position because you're already hidden. Yeah. So, so you can make your yeah. attack. Oh, you can take out the quad. The, the, uh, the you the you can begin, yeah. Begin snapping down that thing. Uh, so are we starting now? Yeah, we're starting. Yeah, okay. It's just that he was going for it. However, you're three times faster than me, is. <laughs> and you're gonna get and you're gonna get at least two shots off before he even makes the wall. So <laughs> you can either take out the five, the, the five star one now. Five the star five, one? The star no, no, that's that's the one closest to you. Okay, so you can take, probably take out the quadro now. Take uh, so advantage because you're hidden. Okay. Oh, so we are already. Yeah. Is, does that count as the skirmish stand here? Yeah. Because you're giving away your position if you if you attack. So I. And skirmish stand allows you to not give away your position when you attack. So I have to make a stealth check after. This attack. At the end of my turn. Yeah. Bonus action. If you watch critical role and I recognize the music track. Anyway. Oh. Skirmish stand, incidentally, is also what what Matt gave uh, Vex. Vex. So oh, he's mixing uh, UA now. Uh, he's, yeah, he's mixing the, the UAs with the... Uh, it's within range, right? Yeah. Uh, I, think it's, I think it's fair for him to give her that because she's gimping herself by not using her trinket. Her, her trinket. She's cutting out half her class. Oh, good one. What is it? What is it? What is it? 19. 19. 24? Roll for damage. Five, eight, eight, eight for the cube. So you, you hack it in a very sizable distance. Touch your arrows. Oh shit, yeah. And then it's your turn again. Touch your, touch your mage, friends. I'm, I'm, I'm done, I'm done with the two, including this one, after this one, another one. No, no. No, 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 the rounds that you remain in range. You will only remain in range a minute and then you have yeah. activated. Okay, so, yeah. Okay. Oh, what? what you and it's do? your turn again. Me like, again? Oh, because that was the surprise. No, no, because it's your ambuscade. It's round. your actual turn in the surprise, in the surprise round. round. Oh, it, it ambuscade uh, goes stacks before. on top of surprise rounds. Uh, okay. Oh, I can. I I want to remain hidden. You can, uh, bonus action. You can make a bonus action for your stuff. So stuff. No. Ah, uh, shit. Seven. Uh, you try to. You try to. Uh, uh, go back to the edge of the wall, but uh, you actually you actually step on this really sharp pebble and, and uh, damn it! That was, like, from that was almost a twenty, but then I rolled 
back. It's okay. Just okay. Back again. He can't protect you if he's dead. So, this one doesn't look particularly as weathered as the one. Let's go. Go at him. Next. So this is the uh, the special turn now. No, this is no, was a the actual surprise turn. round. Oh, the the special uh, surprise round. Seventeen. Six damage. It's looking uh, it's looking kind of rough now, but uh, just a little more. You feel two three more arrows you probably take it down. It's still gonna be the turn uh, after. But the okay. okay. It uh, it jolts awake and then uh, it starts looking and uh, now it is the surprise round. And it's actually Brad's turn. Yes. Surprise round. What? Brad's. Brad's. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I uh, notch an arrow and fire at your same target. Okay. Go for. Oh no, that's a uh, nine. Ah, uh, that uh, that unfortunately misses. Okay. Do you do anything else? Uh. You're still major hurt, by the way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't. No, I don't. I just uh, back up a bit from the wall to at least uh, give myself some cover from range attacks. All right, uh, Skolyov, it is now your turn. You go. I make the bull rush. You were stealth initially, yeah. so I would say you can roll this strength or roll an attack at an advantage. I guess so. Bull rushing and uh, your objective is putting him down. Yep. So knocking him down. Uh, 22. Next. Uh, what's your spike damage? Uh, three automatic. Uh, for grapple, uh, three. The grapple spike or the attack spike? Well, you're still you're still ramming him to take him down, so I would say that's still just spike damage. Eight. What? It's a three plus five. <laughs> you understand? Now you understand why I, I gave you the chance. <laughs> <laughs> I offered the three. <laughs> Alright, so you actually you <laughs> rammed it pretty hard and uh, you can see some cracks forming but it's still pretty hard. You forgot <laughs> guns! <laughs> you rammed them pretty hard! Ah, <laughs> uh, there you go. <laughs> now, when you're, DM, when you're DMing it goes over your head. Surprise, surprise round is over. Uh, deny. Oh! Oh, I'm not no, used to being. A... Yeah, he's supposed to be <laughs> So I fire at cube again. Cube again. Cube. Oh, that's nice. Uh, twenty-one. No, oh, for damage. Yeah. Twenty. Twenty-one. Uh, what? <laughs> uh, four. 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 So close, but uh, it's still so standing. So close. Still standing, but not enough. It is now the turn Seven. of the. Of Shit. A, of, you know, at the far end near the entrance. Right. It starts. Uh, it's it, the this uh, duo drone starts uh, clanking towards you, but uh, it's, it's fucking far. Okay. <laughs> this is a 200 foot uh, distance. Kingler. Right? Kingler. <laughs> Kingler. 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 It is now. Register. Uh, I try to finish off the cube. The cube. All right. So uh, we'll for an attack. Oh wow! That's one less than the last one. Which so now three. Three, uh, six. Six. Ah, uh, no. Sorry, eight. Uh, uh, oh boy. Uh, it will. The one you knock down, the uh, drone, will stand up. It is alarmed. And it will. Half its speed. It's currently half its speed. Uh, it will move. Now you can go for. Uh, move towards the. It is desperate. It will try to move its full. Uh, it will try to move towards. Uh, Towards the armor, so go for uh, opportunity. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Go for damage. Twenty-two. Uh, fourteen. No, 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 fifteen. Fifteen. Wow. 13. Wow. You, you, re you, re you, you use your trident and you jam it in. Really deep. Really, really deep. And the deepest it's ever had? Three 
three tri uh, three prongs at once. Oof. Mm. Triple penetration. Triple penetration. We've never seen anything like it before. <laughs> and then uh not this one, but when it's sexual things, my character does amazing. Yeah. And, uh, and you're good at that. Well, it actually, it actually tries to struggle to get out, and then it, when it, when it finally gets out, it tumbles forward and it um, makes a dash towards uh, towards the armor. It is currently around 20 feet away from uh, the from, armor from, uh, from six from the armor's activation point. Okay, so how far is it? So how far is it actually from me? From me? From me? How far is it from me? It ran 20 from its half movement, and then its movement is 40, so it's about 60 feet away from him. Shit. It's 60 feet from him, and how far is it from the armor? From the armor is about 20 feet. So from the armor what's itself? A, from the armor's activation point. So that's oh, okay. another, that's another ram for me now. I'll have to take it, I'll have to ram it one more time. Uh, uh, it doesn't matter, when it gets up it'll, it'll activate. Yeah. And the moment you... Yeah, it's gonna be super rough though. The moment you... No, but he pointed out that it's looking pretty beat up. I might be able to... If you... The activation point of the, of, of the armor is 60 feet mm -hmm. for you. If you get within 60 feet of the armor, it'll activate. No, no, no. He's saying that the, the no, drone uh, is 20 feet away from the activation point. From the activation point of the armor. If, uh, if, of the uh, armor. It's, if, I ask you if it, you said it was 20 feet from the armor? From, from the, the armor's activation, activation point. Oh, so it is so, 80 feet. It's so if he still is up to that thing, yeah. he still has a 20 feet uh, uh, margin. Oh, okay. So I can, I can, I might be able to break it in the next run if I, if I do enough damage. It looked then, super rough. Okay, so it just, just, it just took three, three in the back, really okay. deep in. Preliminary ramming followed by three in the back. Okay. Uh, whose turn is it? Also, uh, okay, yeah. so now that it's done, it's actually your turn now. Uh, can I do that? You can go and uh, make your attack. Uh, this is a, this is a standard, right? This is a standard because you, you can go ahead and make uh, reckless, and as long as you drop the arrow, I can, I've got you. Okay, I'll, I'll reckless it. Okay, so roll an advantage. You drop the arrow, right? I drop when, the arrow. When you, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when, I, when I get to him. Take a d6 for me. D6 for me? Yeah, it's uh, the inspiration. Oh, oh, it's his thing. Oh, oh, right. you, it's like bardic inspiration. Oh, okay. oh, oh you I, don't have to use it now. Use it but it uh, might come in handy later. That's terrible. Uh, Wait, then at best. If we add this, it could get better. Or... Sixteen. Ooh, wow! Lucky. You just hit it. Lucky. Uh, so oh. roll for your uh, spike damage, uh, like what you did a while ago, you're going to bring it down. And, uh... Nine. Oh, yes, you did it. Yes. How do you want this? For Mr. Big Arm Pentatron. I, as I, as I let go of the arrow with my left hand, uh, I drive my, I drive my... You look at me that way. <laughs> drive your what? You drive my... Fist! Uh -huh. Into its back. Uh huh. With my spikes. Uh huh. Would you say it was fisting? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's preliminary. Like yeah. I drive my. Yeah, fist. I'm dying over here. Woo, so funny. <laughs> totally. Okay. If you've ever heard the term elbow feet. <laughs> what? If you've ever heard the term elbow feet. What's that? I <laughs> elbow deep. With fisting. <laughs> I got that. that so it's broken now. It is. It's uh, it's disintegrating in your hands right now. Uh. No. <laughs> He's stuck. <laughs> Tickle it. So she lets go. Oh, okay. Um. I don't have any more movement, so. I'll that's that's the end of your turn. Yeah, it's the end of my turn. Cause I'm out. I'm out of anything. Uh, um, it is now the uh, the quad uh, the quadrone's turn. It will move towards its fallen uh, towards you actually. However, uh, given where it was a while ago, it cannot reach you at full movement. Can I intercept it? Like, will I be able to intercept it? First? On your turn, yes. Uh, the spear. The spear do a drone. Uh, 
anything incredibly far. So it's getting closer to you, but it's uh, nowhere near you or oh, shit. Sorry. the activation point of the armor. The it is now same with the bag of javelins. The nine. How many? Uh, the uh, the, uh, the unarmed drones, are they moving at all? They're right? moving towards uh, Spolia. Get yourself surrounded. Yeah, I got it. I'm gonna just, just run into them. Shooting, uh, uh, will... me and Wen, I can aiming for the, the cube that again? Aiming for the cube, go ahead and roll. 21. That hits, roll for them. 8. 7. 7. Seven. Excellent. 7. Given all the damage you dealt, you it's uh, a lot of its uh, mechanical circuitry has been exposed, and you hit it, and you hit right at the score. It's nice. Yeah, yeah, finally. Yes. Yes. And Given uh, now the dual drones are kind of aimless, but they still have their directive of protecting this place, so they still go towards you guys. But uh, they're still really, really far. So now it is. Um, the armor remains unactivated in background uh, in uh, I. What does it look like now? Where is every. How far are the nearest combatants? The. The rusted unarmed duo drone is currently. You still have the wall, yes? I would say it's about 80, actually 60 feet away from me. That's the only one? What are, where are the others? The others... The javelin is 70, and the spear is still 120. Okay, far. Run towards who? They were going towards uh, the because she's the closest right now. Uh, so it's uh, 60, one is 60 feet away from the wall. The next one is? The next one is uh, 70 and the next one is 120. 70, 120. Wow, so far apart. Mm. You can pull shots. I'm probably going to javelin at this point. It's like an interaction. Uh, interaction, javelin. You guys totally got that. Right? And then I still have my spike arm for whatever. In that case, I am going to... If I come down from the wall, how far can I get? Um, see, I'll see you just slide, so just slid down the rope. 20 feet from the wall. Does that put you within shooting range? Or yeah, definitely. Okay. If we were within shooting range of the unarmed building. Okay. Uh, would they? Would the would the spear and the javelin dudes have to have to come in a straight line to? Oh wait, they're traveling in a straight line towards yeah. us, right? Okay. Uh, in that case, I come down. I walk thirty feet forward. How far am I from the sixty foot? The sixty feet away from? Uh, it's about thirty feet. Thirty feet. Yeah, I don't want to go that far. Uh, maybe I'll go uh, rightwards towards. Uh, Okay. Yay! Uh, I'll, I'll head towards him. Uh, and then I will cast. Uh, I'll spend a sorcery point to cast uh, Darkness. And it completely blots out the middle of. Uh, uh, between us and the uh, ranged. Okay. And the ranged enemies. Okay. Uh, oh, the javelin and. No, oh, you're within the darkness now? Um, no, I cast it forwards. Uh, in a space between us. Between you and the ring. So where is... Yeah. I can cast it up to 60 feet away. I'm casting it as far as I can towards them. Or is it more advantageous to have it close to us so that they can't easily look around it? Probably closer is better, huh? Yeah, probably. probably. 
so that it's hard. We can easily tuck around the shadows. Mm -hmm. Use it as cover. In that case, I won't. I, I won't cast it so far away. I just take an arrow, uh, cast it upon it, and then just uh, fling it forward to cover maybe fifteen feet. Air paper airplane time. Yeah, uh, just uh, a a quick draw shoot. I wasn't even looking. Because I just wanted to hit the ground 15 feet away. 20 feet away. Okay. I cast the, the sh darkness on... You're right here. Uh -huh. You, you right here. Ozzy's right here where he took down the... the where you went? Uh -huh. the, penta the pentagram. The, these guys have gone, have, uh, gone a bit closer now. Oh, how far are they apart from each other? This one is 10 feet, this one is, well, this one's 60, 120, so 60 feet. Okay, and then they are far away from us. Yeah, this is about, from this closest guy to you, probably 40 feet distance. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just catch, uh, I'm just going to take an arrow, cast darkness upon it, and shoot it about 15 feet away, just into the ground. Where? Uh, uh, point. I don't know how big scale is, but I would like it to be close to us and obscuring us. Okay. But we are not in it. None, none of you are in it, it's just obscuring the space between you. Okay. So that ends your turn. So yeah, what are you going to do? I will move toward. Uh, can I see the map? Where's the shade? Circle. I pull out the uh, throwing javelin. I step to, I step onto the side of the darkness. It's 15 feet in, feet in radius and I fired it straight forward so it would be you would have to go around 15 feet at, at least 20 feet off to the side. I'm gonna go 20 feet off to the other side because if I go 20 feet off to the right, I'll activate the club. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> the other side. Okay, so you go to the other side, towards the wall. Towards the wall. Uh, I, I pull out a throwing javelin. I'll try there myself and try to see what you can How much do you have? Tra you have like, yeah, you looted the one. Yeah, he, he took I a lot. I currently have 19 throwing javelins and 4 throwing trinets. <laughs> Yeah, you might run out, man. I don't know. You maybe can save know. this one. <laughs> I don't know. So, uh, who are you gonna shoot? Uh, the closest one. This one. What, 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 what is the monitor for this one? Um, do a drum. Do a drum. Or is it a monitor? Wait, which one is it? Uh, They're both do a drums. Oh, They're drum. both the same. So one of them is an arm. The other one has a bunch of javelins. The one, so that, the one farthest is has spear. So I will javelin. I will javelin. Which one are you? This is the nearest one? This one. That's the uh, unarmed. I will javelin the unarmed, do a drone. So go attack. Oh, nat 20. Nice. Yay. So that's 2d6. Orange one. Two d6 plus 10. Not plus 5. Uh, 9, 11. 11. 11. Wow. You, it, it hits really hard and it basically destroys a big chunk of it. And it's basically just a wobbling stick now, but uh, it's still standing. I then... 11, right? Yeah. And then I just go back behind the cloud. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, I might be dumb, but I'm not so dumb that I'll trigger the... <laughs> the, 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 the I'm not that stupid. The, that takes special kind of stupid. The bag of javel, the, the spear dojo is now. Wait, have I did Oh. It's now 60 feet, uh, sorry, yeah, 60 feet away. The spear, uh. No, sorry, the spear dojo is 60 feet away. Now the bag of javelins dojo. Went forward into the darkness. Oh. Uh, this, the the weak 
the weakest one. No, the one with the javelin. Oh, wait, yeah. this, this one's fresh. Shot. Yeah, this one's fresh. Because he yeah. shot the one with the one with that's unarmed. Because I can't do the other way. Because otherwise, I'll, I'll walk in the activation. Oh, okay, okay. So see, yeah, can I? If I, yeah, it was oh. either I go here yeah. or here. Uh, who can I see? You're still up the wall. You can, huh? The only thing, the only one you can see is the one in the darkness. Oh, so I can see either of them. Well, my my thing the also. The one in the darkness is the javelin. Ah, oh, so so. And my darkness is on the ground, so it goes only 15 feet up. Upwards. That's radius, right? Mm. That's uh, half sphere. So I would he, suggest he the, went in. Yeah, he went in. The one next to him is, did not, and the. Uh, Kill the uh, kill the kill the. It's finished off. Yeah, that one looks really wobbly. Yeah, just okay, I try. Can... I try to finish the. A light breeze might take him out. <laughs> Even if it misses, the draft might just uh, kill him. Uh, uh, sixteen. Okay, that roll for damage. Seven. Overkill much. Nine. Ten. You we just destroy it. There's yeah. Nothing left. So which one is? Can oh. I erase one? Cause this yeah, one. erase it. Uh, is it this one? Yeah. Okay, so he's dead. Yeah. You killed Kingler. Grab mm this. -hmm. So there are two of them now, and one of them is in the in the darkness. You can see the one in the darkness, though, right? Yeah. Oh, you uh, can see your targets in the darkness. Uh, the shadow sorcerer can can oh, see into nice. the, any darkness that he casts. Oh, he casts. Yes. Okay. Very nice sword. Uh, I will cast Scorching Ray Ooh, into uh, the darkness scorching. and because I can see him and he cannot see me, I roll at advantage on all of my attacks. So that's three, oh, right? Three. I, will, I will make him one at a time and if he dies before the end, I redirect one of the rays. Okay. Please tell me you took the white clear. Uh, you took the... Uh, where's, where's the white clear? I took one at a time. Okay. This is one. okay. That's failed as you as well. You're just thinking about all those kids. Okay. Well, let's see. And, mm, 13. No, one. Unfortunately, 13 does not do that. Even advantage. Uh, 23. That hits with the damage. Open on that one. 6. 6 damage. 6 damage. Is still alive? Ooh, oh, no, that's a poor one. Six. Six. Only eleven. Uh, that's 11 a waste of. Uh, well, I only had. That was only one spell, so. Well, this was good. Four. Is it good? Yeah, he he did six damage. That's yeah, it's uh, it's burning, but uh, it's still standing. Go down. Uh, you currently cannot see the one in the darkness. You, you can see. You can go in, in after it anyway. And uh, like I said, reckless would yeah, I'll just go in and reckless. Okay. Will that cancel out the. Yeah. yeah. So that's just uh, normal but, attack? Yep. And similarly, the thing also has normal attacks against him because it can, he can't advantage as well. 13. Uh, 13. Still on your bonus, right? Oh, wait. You, did you shoot at him or did you? No, no, no you went in yeah, to hack him, right? So you so I saw, I saw still have one more attack. Uh, 19. 19. That's a D4. Plus. Uh, 7. 7. Okay. You, it's busted. It's destroyed. Uh, you, you hack it away with your, your you, you bash it with your shield or your spike, your spike. And that was the end of it. It's, bi it's bits and pieces didn't even reach the ground. It just disintegrated in midair. Uh, nice. Can I spend my remaining movement action like going back out and then giving a thumbs up? Minute movement? Yeah. I still have a bit of movement here. Yeah, so I, I just leave the cloud and then I look I, back. I see him. So. <laughs> there's one enemy yeah. left. Unless you want to wake up the armor. And there's one enemy left. Uh, let's take out the last one just to uh, get it off our backs. And, it's about uh, 60 feet away. Oh wait, that, it's that thing is uh, there now. So those... Which thing? Spear? Spear do drone, which was 60 feet away previously, it is now next to the darkness. Not inside, next to it. Okay. Uh, is it whose turn? Uh, it is the nice turn. You can... If we all take shots, let's see it from where you are. I, can I? Uh, You're still at the wall. You can still see it. Yeah, but it's red. 
next to the dragons, right? So wouldn't it be? No, it's not beside it. She can go down. She can go along the wall into a clear shot. But where was I early? Where did I? Uh, we were here, right? Yeah, you were at the wall. So, so we were at the wall. So and the spear is like right here. So all you can need I to see it? Down. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, so, do, then, so do you I need full movement to. Not really. It's probably okay. around twenty feet of movement downwards. Okay. So I move down. Okay. And then. Will you go for attack? Oh, we. Uh, 18 plus 5, 23, 8, 11, 11, So you hit it, and uh, it takes, it's, basically it takes everything on it, except just it's fine. Mechanics is fine. But it's still standing, and there's this ah, stick holding a spear. Alive. And uh, it's basically all that's left of it after that jacket <laughs> Do you want to finish it up? Uh, we got this. Your turn. We can actually finish it off first, take a quick breather, and grab all of the stuff first, and then like get into a good position to take on the health mm -hmm. Or we can like completely, if we have a way to sneak around, it'll be like right now. It's still, the health horror is still asleep. So. We can chill. I'll take, uh, I'll just take an arrow shot against it. I just uh, take a look at it, uh, analyze uh, its uh, its structure, how it's built, and uh, based on my knowledge around machines, I I direct it at the most vulnerable point and I take it apart. And it's just busted. That's it. Have you ever thought of an arrow that shoots a screwdriver at the buildings? How long of a rest do you need? Let's take out this little one. Let's <laughs> what? Okay, so the fight is over unless you want to actually activate Can we just sell the, can we just pick up the other javelins and stuff first so like, we're fully stopped? Uh, you can. I'll also, leave my you, arrows you also. You guys can retrieve your arrows. So go take half your arrows. Uh, you... How many javelins do I get from the new javelin? How many did you, did you use a while ago? One. One. The javelin guy never shot anything. So that's... Twenty. I don't know, you might run out. Yeah, no, that's like a solid amount. Might run Be out. careful, man, you might run out. I mean, you see it. How are you carrying all these? I, I don't know, these things are huge. Yeah, no, I... But I'm not going for the more realistic rule, so, you know, I'm not going for that. Uh, that's true, that's true. So, in terms of actual javelins, I am at 42 javelins. Don't ask how I have jav that many javelins, just know that I do. 42. I toss them all at once. <laughs> For, 42, uh, 21 on each hand. I, so, deal, I deal 1d1 damage with. <laughs> what do you guys want to do? You, uh, each one. You've systematically taken out all the two drones without awakening the armor. Are we capable of taking on the armor? Because I know Hamdor is pretty strong. Given that there's four of you, you'll probably take it. Four. However, it means it's pretty hardy, and you know how you know it can resist quite a bit of damage, but it's not immortal or immune to it. You want to take it on? Just for kick? Yeah, sure. I mean, to why eliminate the, the... Why don't you take the reactor first? And then yeah, yeah. Why don't sure, we extract sure. the reactor first? So I, I call, uh, I call, her, I call the, the doctor out. Okay. Uh, I say, uh, it's all safe as long as you don't activate the... The armor. Just don't get within 60, uh, it's, uh, 60 feet. Uh, keep uh, at least a 60 foot minimum distance from it. So she, she skirts around it. And then, uh, we, I, I follow her up into the. I, say, I also go. So I go down the wall through the. You skirt around and, uh, and uh, already she's uh, very giddy with the excitement. You can, you can tell from the facial expression. But. Uh, and, uh, she's, uh, this is it. This is. This is what is it, Doctor? Five. Artean reactor. It's 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 magnificent. It's it's not compatible with our ship, but but it but with. Why does it look? Does it look? It looks the same with the map. No, it's different. Oh, it's different. The map is just full screen. Mm. The one you, the one this thing has that orb in the middle. Right? Oh, okay. And it's glowing. It's 
critical thinking. And, uh, mm -hmm. So, Chief Engineer, I believe uh, this belongs to you. You are the only one, probably. You or your daughter, probably capable of uh, re re retrofitting this for the uh, <coughs> Uh Then at the very... Uh, then... Uh, I'm afraid uh, I must survive at all costs. <laughs> um, so we're not engaging it on board of that. No, we're engaging it. I'm just uh, winding you ahead of time. But should the time go for me to sacrifice? Oh, it? oh! In that case, uh, <laughs> I do have. Uh, mm, you know, if we don't engage the hand for uh, what? We're doing the place a service by clearing it of dangerous rules. But what else is in? I'm sure the doctor is gonna want. As soon as uh, the ship is up and running and the pirates are dealt with, I'm sure the doctor is going to want to come back to retrieve what she actually came here for. What is doctor, it that you uh, came to retrieve? You need to eliminate the sunburn. What, uh, what did you come to What did you come to the ruins for? I, su I don't suppose that you came simply for the for the reactor. We came to. for the reactor to fix the ship, and I'm we are sure that. Well, I came here for a full-on expedition, but given the state of things, I believe I would like to go back instead. Is gotten too violent. However, I will, now that I know how to get here, I will just come back with a bigger force and I will actually explore the ruins now, with, hopefully, with enough uh, people to actually destroy all these constructs. So, will you pay us extra if we broke this one? How they keep, they see, they what? keep what? seeming to uh, disintegrate. Would we be able to, to take one down in, in a way such that you could bring it back to study, at least to have uh, something to show for uh, for all the trouble you've gone through? Well, I'm live, sure definitely. Hmm? Live, definitely. All the remains of that thing, I mean, if you manage to take it out. With the armor? Would we, would we receive a substantial reward? Asks the sailor. <laughs> well, you've gone through all the trouble, and Gwent might not be dead. Sure, I'll give you extra after this. Let me go home. Well, what is it? I don't know. Are you gonna be? Are you gonna be her butt monkey? <laughs> what did he <laughs> say? He says, uh, "If what's dead, do we receive his pay?" <laughs> or is it, I have to ask. When does butt monkey service? Uh, <laughs> I'd rather not. No offense, my lady. I'd rather not be in Wet's position. I don't think anyone wants to be in Wet's position. Uh, I think like, I think I think his family quite handsome. Not you, yes, um, quite, quite sure I, you do. I noticed you okay. said that a couple of times. You, you paint his family, but not him. Well, he's old. <laughs> we're going to uh, we're going to try to subdue this creature, and if not, mm -hmm. to take back its remains. But okay. now that we are at we are at the reactor. No, you have uh, to. Yeah. Oh yeah, but so we are behind the armor now. Yeah, you're sixty feet away from. Oh, you're sixty feet away from. So what's and what's me, beyond the? Okay. What do we see beyond? It's ruins. The, it's it's the ruins. It's now. The city of ruins. If you want okay. to go, I mean, if you must go deeper, expect some more resistance inside. Okay, for for the Empire, I think the plan should be: I'll take it from the front, and then you guys stay hidden from behind, and then attack it from there. We take it from behind, yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no. You see, I'm gonna. <gasps> I'm gonna, gonna ram him. I'm gonna ram him from the front, and uh -huh. then you pluck him in the back. Mm -hmm. You know, pluck him. Yeah, you plink him in the back. No, no, we stick him. In. We stick him from behind. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like seriously, uh, that that my that, my problem comes with you because he's got reckless attack. So Mike. he and I actually work very well in darkness together. But uh, my problem is you. Uh you try not to die. Uh, if you get hit with that in your pocket, none of us might. There might not be enough of us to return. I, I will stand at my it. maximum. <laughs> no, I can hold it for you if you're going to be up front. Sure, but I'm not going to be up front. Okay. Anyway, so I will I'll, I'll hold the thing's attention. Why don't you guys stay hidden as to do the most damage? Does that sound good? Uh, okay, sure. Because the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to get just within its range and anticipate its attack because there's no way I can make the full 60 foot distance and mm. still have room to attack. Why don't you wait at the outermost edge yeah, and, and we then. stand behind you and then we will begin. So I have... Okay. You know, if one of you shoots it from afar first, it really wouldn't notice you because it's turned off. You mean it's vulnerable to being hit 
Uh, you mean it does not activate even if it gets hit? It does, but uh, it's certainly a good first strike. Mm -hmm. I am going to... That could work. Someone I'm going to stand at the... I'm going to go hide. <laughs> okay. I'm going to stand at the <laughs> very end that I can. And I will cast darkness, uh, the 60 feet range, upon the Helm Horrors. Yeah, or By rather in between us, such that it covers his entire uh, the distance between him and us, and he is inside of the darkness. Okay. Wait, do you cast darkness on him? Or? Uh, no, no. Oh, just, just at a point. Okay. Uh, and then. Like, if he moves his full 60 feet to get to somebody. He'll be covered in it. I'm curious. Uh, because if I stand in the. We can draw it. it yeah. yeah. So, it, so it's no not going to be seen. Yeah, it's here. So, uh, current, I can. so the lock of you are currently uh, about 80 feet away from it. I'm, I'm, I'm curious. If 20 feet in, then you activate it. If he makes a darkness arrow and then he uses Mage Hand, can he move the darkness? Yeah. I, I mean, so. yeah, because as long as it's on an object that I yeah. cast, that's why I. Use the arrow so that I could pick it up and move it around without casting it again. Mm. So, if you combine both the darkness and the like reverse, hand. it's like light. It's exactly the reverse of light. Uh, I would like to do it this way, where where uh, he is the circle, the tiny circle. So he's standing right behind it. Uh, right behind, right outside of the the darkness. Okay. And I cast it in the middle, such that it encompasses. How 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 big is the? Fifteen feet radius, or thirty feet diameter. Fifteen foot radius. Fifteen foot diameter. Diameter. Ah, uh, thirty feet diameter. Thirty feet diameter. Oh, thirty feet. So she, so he's gonna have to activate it once he goes in anyway. Uh, who? No, I'm gonna shoot at it, and then it's gonna get active. And then we're, I'm gonna run in anyway. Uh, no, you could just wait for it outside because we'll all be on this side mm -hmm. of you. So really, it'll just go through you before. All right. Before it comes right. Out. All right. So uh, you and go if worst when? Come, huh? uh, he turns to you and says, "If worst comes to worst, take this belaying pin. Return it to the captain for me." Oh. Okay. <laughs> It's a commemorative thing we all have. Uh, you roll, re roll initiative this time because uh, you're going into new combat. Oh, wow, so even before I start the opening, <laughs> you know. Sixteen. Wow. Four. 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 So, uh. Sixteen and. Fifteen. Fifteen. So, Four. she's gonna shoot and then you're gonna shoot. Well, you can hide Four. now because it isn't currently in darkness, so you would have a disadvantage to the attack roll. However, because it is in darkness, it can't see you, and therefore you fulfill the conditions for hiding. Okay, uh, where are we standing? Okay. You can stand wherever you want, as long as you can hit him. Where is the notebook? Oh, is, is it with Vic? Where are we currently? Uh, I am. Uh, this is Ozzy. Ozzy. Uh, so I am. Would be I am behind him at some point, and then you can be wherever you want. Uh, is are there like, bigger rocks, boulders that I can hide? Nothing. You know this is an Aussie Oh, it's an Aussie. Okay. If you're gonna stand really, really far back, hand me a point. You can go. You can go up the wall again. That's super I, safe. I guess I could. Okay, I'll do that in preparation. Okay. Oh, you're bare. Hmm. You're bare. I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna have a hard time climbing down a rope. <laughs> If you're gonna unload on this one motherfucker, I'm, you might as well unload everything, right? I'm fine, I just uh, stay farther back, somewhere here. Just remember the charging distance of your bear. Okay. Drink it. Why don't you like put your bear this I don't know, I know. Why don't you leave him behind? <laughs> no, I can't, because I can just de-summon him. Uh, oh, you wish you could do that. Actually... What? Whenever so, they polymorph chicken, I think he's so much more useful when he's not when he's, when he's there. When he's not there. Ah, uh, okay, I'll stay. Uh, not for enough. What if, enough. What if, what forty if feet away from Ozzy. Okay, forty feet away from. That way, when Ozzie, it be, make make might as well make uh, sixty by sixty. Uh, this is the last fight of the, of the night. Twelve by twelve. Yes, please. I can't. Yeah, 
sure. Blame the drawing. No, I'm not blaming the drawing. I'm just saying okay. I don't have a good estimation of the space. You can just place them at the very edge of it. Or maybe in the middle. You get the other stuff. You get the other stuff. What extra? Uh, whatever. Ground? Rocks? I need an extra... I need logs. All of them. Just one line. I oh wait, no. Two, I need two lines of logs. I guess you should try rock. Because we are in... Sword fights. This is 50 by 50. Yep. Isn't it? Yeah, right. Is it? Isn't it? Secret. More. More. That edge is gonna is gonna activate it. So this, uh, we make this the armor here. <coughs> no, I already found it. Give it to me. Oh, okay. Oh, this thing. All right. Here, right there. Yeah. Single. Whee! Single patch of grass. Okay. Where is he? There? There. So that's 60 feet. And uh, whoever, where, and uh, you, because of your ambuscade. What is it sending on the phone? 5, 10, 15. Ah. 5, 10, 15. Is it also going to go this way? No, because it has it here. Ah. <coughs> so you make the first move because of your mm -hmm. So your I'm... Where are you? I'm way Somewhere off the map. Over there? Uh, over here? Yeah. Uh, 40 feet from him. <coughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, uh, so far. Just put it, on, put it on off map. Somewhere here. So... You haven't cast darkness yet, have you? Or you already have? Okay. Oh, it's right there. You can't see it from there, though. Yeah, no. So you can have, you're gonna have to go around again. Mm. Or, like I said, use the high deck. Also. Oh, and then you'll have advantage on your attacks when, when it comes out. Okay, even if there's not nowhere to hide. Yeah, you can hide because he can't see him. And well, he can't see you. Or you can enter it. He can't see you anyway, regardless. Oh, that's right. I could stand at the edge. You can still hide as long as you're behind the darkness thingy. Uh, yeah, but when he comes out... Uh, okay. Wait, you roll lower initiative, right? Yeah. He's ready to attack. Okay. Uh, okay, I'll uh, ready an action to fire an arrow. Once he gets out of the darkness? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, it's right there. Actually, the armor's turning. Uh, but I'm way over here. <coughs> I would like to activate the armor. All right. So uh, I uh, cast. Let's go all out. I will. Since I have all the time in the world until activation. I am going to uh, 
expend one of my uh, spell slots to regain two sorcery points. Okay. I'm going to use uh, two sorcery points uh, to, to uh, uh, quicken spell, uh, scorching ray, and uh, make an arrow attack on top of that. So I will make. Oh, what attack on that? Because I quicken, I quicken spell into the scorching ray. Okay, okay. I quicken spell the scorching ray. Okay, got it. Go. Oh. Go for damage for all three. Or yeah. Uh, because he has yet to be activated, I would say. Okay. Where's my other guys? <laughs> so. Do you understand? See, this is all the math that I had to like, think about. <laughs> yeah. If I quicken spell, then it's a bonus action, but it's still in my action, so I can use my action. Uh, so now I make four. I make four attacks at an advantage mm -hmm. because he's in darkness. Four, okay. Twenty-one. Twenty-one hits. What happens if you can spell a, a, a spell that's already a bonus action? Is that possible? No. Anything that you quicken becomes a bonus. Seventeen. Ideals 11 points of fire damage and 9 points of uh, piercing damage. Okay. But then only one ray hits? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Only, oh, okay. Because of its. You, you know already how tough this thing is, so it uh, the arrow actually shatters. And it is magically uh, resistant, so 11. 5. The arrow did diminish damage? Yes. Alright, uh, it is now the armor's turn. Uh, it will move 30 feet forward into the darkness. Okay. And uh, One. since it cannot see anybody... Uh, it still remains in darkness. Since it cannot see anybody in there, uh, it goes out of the darkness. Uh, that's its thing. So it uses its uh, dash? Dash. It dashes. Straight forward? Yep. It blunders into... So. Uh, oh, if he was a, uh, you make your, you make your attack. Oh, or, I also. I, did. I don't know. He blunders at you. He didn't see you, so he just walks straight. Into I you. also make my attack. So I make a. Uh, <coughs> oh, uh, Dave's educating if you can if you can get an attack off. Uh, I will say. Whoa, major. Uh, oh, see, it basically edges out of the darkness when it blundered into you, so you can make your attack. I so still can Major deja vu right there. Can I make a bonus? What now? Uh, is is it a reactionary attack sort of? Yeah, it's more of a reactionary attack. Yeah, so like oh. Oh, oh, nice crit. Nah, I you crit? crit? Yeah, I crit. That's what I mean. You do diminish damage to it. Though, so it's a, it's Shit! A 6, yeah. 7, 10. 10, damage. 10 piercing damage. Your, your arrows hit, but they break on impact. Oh, okay. 19 plus... Uh, 19 plus 5, 24. Is that it? 24, that does it. That's an 8 plus 5, 13. 13. Now he's... Yeah. You, feel, now you, you feel it, it hits, but uh, mm -hmm. it, it, your weapon almost bounces from it, from the re from some sort of recoil. It's really tough. And uh, we're, back to, we're back up to you. Grab this. Okay. Um, it doesn't like the poking. Oh wait, sorry, wait, wait. One, one second, one second. Actually, it's Goliath's turn. Yeah, you can, right. you can take your turn. Whale, whale, whale. What do we have here? Since it blundered into him, it's, he's still in the darkness. So, that's that. That's 19 plus 5 for uh, 24. 
Considering that it takes half my damage, I suppose. Uh, Gratis? Uh, it's, it's turn of mine. I thought it was mine first before his. Uh, you have, yeah, 16, you have 50. Oh, yeah, it's true. Uh, mm-hmm. I have to keep remembering your name, otherwise, I'm, in my head, I default you as Ube. 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 My bonus action uh, to take uh, no, another one of my. Uh, what? Sorry, I'm just gonna say it's here. Okay. But that means your bear takes opportunity. What? What? What uh, would? The default, I think, is the bite. Bite. The bite. Twenty-eight. That's eight. 
I'm going to spend my bonus, uh, I'm going to use my bonus action uh, to convert uh, more spell slots into uh, points. Okay. Uh, one, I'm going to just spend one uh, first level spell slot into, a point, into points and then I'm just going to make uh, one normal uh, attack action uh, arrow while stretching my way around. One, you can go off map. Two, no. Three, four, five, six. Is this ball already? No. Courtyard. One, two, three, four, five, six. <coughs> and I'm gonna just make one normal back. Arrow? Yeah. Just arrow for that. Oh! What was that? It's two. Ah. Uh, it's not good. Uh, uh, okay, let's go cool. after your turn. Beast oh, contact. Standard, standard attack. attack. I mean it. Alright, this spell. Nice. Uh, it's 24. Uh, secondary attack. Bring it back. Bring it back. The what? That also okay. hits. Okay. Oh, because I know your pluses. Yeah. <laughs> well, also, that was 17, you rolled 17? Yeah. Shit. So, an 8 and a 7. 15. So, I do 7 damage. Okay. Yeah, it's looking pretty rough. It's, uh, there's, there are a lot of dents on that thing now. And, uh, and its pauldron has fallen apart. It's, uh, it's the remains of its broken shield has fallen apart already. Did I? No. Oh. Link it, then move your bear. Uh, the bear comes up. The um, bear can move still, huh? 12 plus 17. That is not. Ah, okay. Uh, Good to Hmm? Ah, sorry. So... Do you think I have enough strength to grapple it? You can try. try. And then the bear gets you, Have you been damaged? 26. You're looking kind of rough. Well, uh, you can, you can, you can your temporary heal yeah. points go above. Okay. Uh, so, uh, to the bear nudges you and you take. Uh, 2d6 cute points. Yes, cute points. That's good. You're six, uh, good. You take. Oh wow. 10, 13 health. 30. Temporary HP. So, 13. OC. You are 30 health. 39. What? 39. 39. Yeah, because it's just temp HP. Okay. Yeah, it's oh, you're 26 from earlier. And then uh, what up to the 39? Because temp. Temporary HP goes beyond. Temporary HP goes beyond max. But it can't be healed back. But it can't be healed back. Okay. So, I'm grappling this thing then. So, uh, that's my bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that was the bonus, right? This was my bonus action, so it's the bear turn now. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. yeah. Orange you, one is... You moving forward? Oh, oh yeah. Haha, uh -huh. sorry, I didn't see. Uh, it's not even based on that, right? Go around, go, uh, go yeah. yeah, it's fine. There. Not blocking anyone. Sure. Mm. Orange is the bite. Okay. Bite is. is just a shit, sorry. It just affects bite me. is. It just affects 13. 14, 15, 16. On the bright side, I can still do damage. 21. Claw so, is. I think you guys are managing just on the. Ah! Claw is. So bad. Plus 18 plus 8. 26? Yes. That also hits. So, go for the damage. That is... 26. Well, they're all piercing damage, so... 
Oh, ho. for once. So that was a one. Plus uh, two, seven, nine eight, plus nine. Ten. Nineteen. Oh, your plus, how much is your plus? Sorry, plus the eight. damage? Plus eight. Plus uh, eight. Seven, eight, nine, nine, plus eight. Seventeen. Seventeen total? Wait. Uh, it's plus four. Oh, it's, 17. it's the damage. Seventeen, 17. Total. So, nine damage? Oh, no, 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 no. Eight, eight damage. Eight. Eight. Could have been. I got two. I got two once. That's a okay. good It looks super rough right now. Wow, okay. It's basic. Let's it's, go! It's, ba it's barely hanging on there. Bare. Barely. But now it's his turn. That's no. the only one that she gets to initiate. Yeah, because it's... Well, like, take him from the back or whatever. Where is... I didn't even uh, do that on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's totally dead. You're gonna make two attacks at you, Goliath. Oh, I got the bit. I go neener, neener, neener. It's fine, you have 39 HP for now. One hit again. I'm really liking this barbaric gun. <laughs> yeah, it's soapy as hell. Yeah, especially when you stack temporary HP on top of it. Yeah, you no. take 9 damage, have 2, 4. Whoa, you're both. You're both uh, just. You're at myself. <laughs> Basically. Oh, oh. Breath is. Not even, you're I one point above. Super no, rough right, right now. now. I move into range. Uh, I use my bonus action this time to convert spell points into. Uh, sorcery points into spell slots, uh, reinvigorate myself one uh, second level spell slot, okay. and then cast Scorching Ray again. Roll for, uh, it looks super rough by the way, so right. roll for attacks on okay. one by one to be dramatic. Okay. Let, let, uh, let this be, uh, the power is yours. Give me your luckiest die. <laughs> This is, time? yeah. Well, this one has given me the crit today, so. Oh, but then the crit has been used. <gasps> but then it's lucky! I don't know. Let's see how well Javi gives me. No. Let me see how well Syrah <laughs> helps me. 12 plus. Only 17. 17? That's no. okay. My last. My own. Wow, waste. Oh, fuck. Oh, third wasted uh, the potions all around him, but um, it did not hit so a Goliath, it's, it's uh, on you now. Do I grab him? No, just whack him. Kill him. Yeah. Kill him dead. Kill him dead. Ugh. No, that one misses. It's uh, 14. Total? Yep. And then 20. Not 20? No, not 15. Oh, okay. So, uh, for damage? So, Goliath, how do you want to do this? Yeah! Excellent. I want to shove my fist in its head. And it's what? <laughs> head. <laughs> it's just waiting for it. I want to fist its head. With my spiky hand. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> You basically jab your entire fist down its throat. non-existent throat. Yeah. And, uh, oh, see, it's just an arm? It's a living arm. It just falls apart, and uh, there are bits and pieces inside of it. This, this I, weird light, light thing that you can't really explain. I, uh, it's slowly dissipating. It's, it's inert, but the armor itself is it's just right there. I call I call quickly the machine man and ask him if uh, I try to cast men to try to preserve as much of the magic as I can. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you you can cast what? Men. Men. Mending. So you uh, go oh, make an arcane check for that. Or since your casting abilities, there was nothing to be started. My casting attack? Yeah. 12. 12. You, uh, you managed to, restore, uh, to preserve some of it, especially at the, uh, at the chest plate area where it's most concentrated at, but uh, the rest have been, uh, the rest of the other parts have been lost. Uh, All right. The sword itself is, uh, the long sword itself is a pretty mundane long sword. Uh, the entire thing is mundane on But uh, you managed to ga gather his remains and uh, 
that's the end of that thing. I, I take uh, take the core. Uh, I, I take that. whatever magical part of it uh, is still active and offer it to uh, the doctor. Okay. I take the long sword just so that I have a long sword. Uh, Ooh, okay. Wow. I say, uh, uh, Dr. Reiner, uh, I'm afraid uh, we may have messed it up a little too much, but uh, I was able to reserve this if it might help in your studies. At the very least, if, if we get off this island, you'll have something to show for it. Oh, this is this is quite useful, yes. Uh, I'm sure I can look something up. Maybe I'll have one or something. Uh, it's, uh, if he's still alive. It's very nice. Uh, shall we go back, lady and gentlemen? Uh, let's... Uh, okay. uh, we haven't the rest of... No, what time of day is it now? It's, uh, it's about dusk now. Or, actually evening, about 7.30. Wanna camp out here and then head back in the morning? Yeah, sounds like a plan. So, so uh, camp out, uh, you, take, you take shifts because you're still in the courtyard, but, uh, a few whizzing, uh, Oh, a few drones whizzing by, but uh, otherwise you've been left on the list the entire night. Uh, at daybreak, we make the journey back. Day, you, you make your, your journey back. Uh, you encounter the same... Uh, you encounter the Allosaurus corpse being eaten by another Allosaurus, but uh, you managed to avoid it. And, mm. uh, uh, back, in, back at the ship, uh, who's the first person you go to? I report straight uh, to the captain. I say, uh, 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 out of old habits, I, I give a salute, uh, and then uh, uh, I say, uh, Mission accomplished, Captain. We've uh, we've returned with uh, what might be able to replace our core if we if we can get off this. Assuming we can get off uh, this island unmolested by the pirates, uh, I'm reasonably sure we can get I can get us off the ground again with Luna's help. So, uh, ah, very nice. It's one good news. The, uh, the raiding party has, has yet to return, but uh, hopefully they'll be able to uh, come back with better news. I don't suppose you'd like a long sword, Captain. A what? Long sword. I have the rock face with me already. What about maybe 40 javelins or so? <laughs> you dump, <laughs> you dump a shit ton of javelins. It scatters to the gun. <laughs> How? Uh, Why? Uh, I I ask. Um, did uh, the unseemly older gentleman named Gwent make it back here? Oh, Gwent? My goodness. I, I'm surprised he survived at all. Mm. He's, did, resting at the, he's resting at the cabin's quarters. But, did uh, he successfully bring back all that meat he sent with him? He said meat. Yeah, we, we encountered uh, some resistance in the form of uh, uh, giant lizards. Uh, we were able to slay it, and its corpse. We decided to uh, salvage from you. salvage for uh, for rations. Uh, I'm guessing the old man ate it. A, he came back here with nothing, bad stomach and a bloody mouth. But uh, other than that, you, as I'm picking up the javelins, you hear you hear him go, "You this old man." <laughs> okay. But, uh, I'm surprised he survived at all. He's basically got just two fingers on his hands now. Captain, uh, Captain oh do you yeah, remember yeah. that sh that shop back at Port? One that makes wooden fingers? Oh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, what about it? Uh, do you think we should take them there? Well, I'm not paying for it. No, neither am I. The what? I know what? That's a the shop that makes wooden fingers. Oh. Okay. How do, you, how do you tell that your party is skin flinted? Of course I'm taking it out of your bag. Never mind, god damn. <laughs> So, uh, you can use these scrolls if no. Good. Eiderbach uh, comes into the captain's quarters and uh, you hear a few a bit of screaming. He's like, what? You're so useless. You were never there for me the entire time. Where were you? <laughs> and, uh, I'm serious though. I'm putting Wendt in every you, if you, you hear a few grunts from Wendt and saying, oh, I'm so sorry, my lady. And... Uh, and uh, I can't help but feel that Gwent is probably some sort of intelligent fool or something. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's, that's all you can do. That has been my uh, suspicion from the very beginning. <laughs> I thought, I thought yeah. it was immortal, goddamn. <laughs> so, uh, and that's the end of your mission for 
session one hey, of airship. That was fun. Would you still want experience? Sure. <laughs> just for kicks? I don't know. Why not? Just for kicks. Why not, right? Why not? Yeah. We start at 900. Whatever. It, you know. I failed all the ranger checks. I am disappointed with the number of failed attack rolls they made. I'm pretty happy. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, wait. I, I was fairly badass today. Barbarian, I again. saved all no, my no stat shots. checks and all my survival checks. As long checks as I don't have to do any thinking, well, I'm great. I, did you see how many attacks at, a, at an advantage I failed? Oh. All, the, all the scorching rays? Yeah. That is sad. I however, however, sorcerers are casting machines. That they are. That they are. Well, like, I can, I can cast. I could have gone back and done another round of, of, uh, spell point conversion. Mm -hmm. And so ultimately, I would have been able to cast, uh, four second level spell slots in a day. Wow. Nice. I'm just, I'm just like goddamn happy with my bonus attack. It totally, it totally closes the window that I was frustrated with, with the barbarian being that I don't have a secondary then, attack. You miss once and then that's it. So uh, yeah, that, everybody at base get 1,070 XP. 1,070. On, oh, on top of the 900 were because you started 900, yeah. So sorry. Oh, so 1,070 is now the XP. No, no, no. You're so it's 900, 900 plus and then 1,070. So, so we're sorry, now at 1,970. 1,070? Mm -hmm. And, okay, that's good. 1,970. 1,970. Okay. okay. And then, I'm gonna give you, you didn't beat, uh, you didn't beat Valvorex, but you did manage to keep a piece of her. Um, it's a big run. Mm -hmm. Yeah. On the bright side, we did get her hand. Add another, let's see. Plus, she was wiping the floor with me at the start of the while. <laughs> yeah. Quite literally at that point, she was stepping on me and then moving her foot back and forth. An additional 300 for uh, disarming Belvorex. That puts us at 270. Oh, yeah. you don't have me? Oh, no, wait. Everyone. Everyone. Oh, everyone. Because there was so much people in the... Uh, yeah. Sorry, 300? Yeah. So we're at 270. And then add... Uh, Do we get... Yeah. Do we get points for taking out the big knight? No, no. Wait, what big knight? Oh, sorry. The armor? You already... That's it's part it's of it. Right? Umbratis, get another 150 for your oh. tactics. Oh, nice. Uh, deny, get another 100 for all your... Uh, for all the coach saves from the... Uh, from all your ranger features. You get my hand, play some book. Oh. And Ozzy, get another 100 for doing most of the damage. Yeah. For being... For being a proper damage. barbarian. For being a proper barbarian. <laughs> the tank and... Forget the all these is. tactics. For being the tank Whack -a and the damage dude. Whack a dude. <laughs> that is tactics. <laughs> hey! Tank and DP. One of the tactics you should ever think okay. about is whacking a dude and whacking a dude harder. In response though, I pulled off my part really well in the plan. We are uh, 270 from, from level, level 4. four. Wow. Well, I throw a lot at you, so is that. And, like, and it's a good thing you actually challenged the, uh, the, armor, the living armor. Or rather the... Helm horror. Helm horror. Helm horror. But like for real though... I, uh, for a dumb dwarf, I did a pretty good job today. Here, check out. You're gonna have to give me all the details and stuff so I can use them for my run. Check out Slate Rockface. Same. Oh. Rockface. Figured he's a captain of renown, might as well give him a level 8. <laughs> wow. wow, he's level 8? Yeah. Wow. Oh, but. He only takes levels from classes of the max level we've ever been in, which is from Valema level 4 and then level 3 in, uh, for Oracle. But he's Barbarian 5. Oh what yeah, Barbarian 5. That's the only one that's, uh, that I break. 
Oh yeah, it is barbarian five because he has extra attack. Oh, no wonder. But he didn't take. Wait, I didn't want him to go first. Mm, nice. That's fun. All right, so. 86 HP. Huh? 86 HP. Oh, and I didn't take tough. Holy but then again, wow. he's level eight. Yeah, that's true. And he's got D tens and D twelve. He's a barbarian with 19 AC. 19 AC. Wow, I can only dream of getting. I can get tens in up to 18 maybe with enough dex with and enough drinks. drinks. Yeah, enough drinks. With enough drinks, he might marry. Jingleton. Not near. Oh. Uh, with more drinks, probably, maybe. Did you get to use all the spells you were looking at earlier? No. That was from most of them. Some of them from uh, the end. Oh, 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 I should, I should stop. 